My name is Tim League. I'm the founder of Alamo Draft House, and I want to thank you guys so much for being here today. Tim League wants you to experience the movies like never before. If in a sentence you said to somebody, Alamo Draft House is, what is Alamo Draft House? My driving force is to make going to the movies fun again. I love going to the cinema, uh, and I always have, and it can be a, such a special experience. We want to create great experiences here. That experience includes a strict no talking, no texting, no cell phone looking policy. Can we not use our phones? They even produce their own celebrity PSAs. But there is plenty you can do with waiters delivering food and beer all while you kick back in a cozy chair and focus on the big screen. That prize is mine. League was in Brooklyn this week to introduce the animated movie Kubo and the Two Strings, and more importantly, to launch the 25th location of his Alamo Draft House movie theater empire. This is a curated Turkish uh, collection of posters. In January, we're going to swap out all the posters, and it's going to be weird films from genre movies of India. League's theaters are like temples for movie lovers. This is our micro theater, so it is much smaller. Catering to your every need. The way you order is you write down whatever you want on this card, you place it up like a flag, and the waiters see that flag, they'll slink in, and there's a little light under the table. They can see what it is, and they'll give you the thumbs up, and then five minutes later, they'll come back with whatever you need. League scripts even the smallest details of the operation, directing his wait staff to use the iPhone app, Run P. So if you um, are a movie enthusiast and you have a small bladder uh, or you like to have a couple beers, uh, you should have this because it tells you where exactly in the movie you can slink out for two minutes and go to the bathroom. For us, we use that as the ideal time to drop a check or not disturb you with the service. Hurry up, two fries, hurry up! The kitchen is run by New York native chef Fernando Marulanda. Two of his previous employers, legendary restaurateurs Danny Meyer, and Thomas Keller. You're talking about working at some of the biggest restaurants in New York. Now you're working at a movie theater as a chef. Absolutely. When I interviewed, I spoke to them. One of the exercises was like, what's your favorite movie? It was easy, it's Casablanca for me. So they said, fine, do a menu around Casablanca. So I knew it was a fun place where you can still be creative, be serious about food, that that's why I'm here. The food isn't the only thing with a local touch. Each draft house has a bar for post-movie conversation. This one has 48 local craft beers on tap and another 48 for the theaters. Tim League has been crafting this vision for decades, starting in California. My wife and I opened a theater when um, we were 23 years old. It was an a art house, single screen theater, and it was an unmitigated disaster. But I just happened to pass a movie theater on my way to work. And then one day there was a for lease sign and a week later I signed the lease. Tim and his wife Carrie regrouped in Austin, Texas, opening the single screen Alamo Draft House in 1997, featuring second run titles at discount rates. Along the way, they've reimagined the movie going experience. When the movie Sideways came out, they're going to very specific wineries, and so we would pair a flight of the exact wines and wineries that they're going to, so you can kind of travel on that same journey right. and experience a little bit uh, uh, from another sense. It's almost like you're not just taking me to a movie, you're taking me on an adventure. When we're at our best, uh, we're creating a memory that you're going to have forever. About 15 years ago, they started doing actual adventures with the Alamo Draft House rolling road shows. So we would go to Monument Valley to show the John Ford Westerns, uh, go up to Martha's Vineyard for Jaws. We did a Escape from Alcatraz on Alcatraz, and we did uh, Close Encounters at Devil's Tower. So just movie nerd fantasies. Every summer we do Jaws on the water, a different body of water. People are in inner tubes. The sun goes down and they're watching Jaws from the water. But we have emergency rescue divers in the water with rebreathers just in case something happens. Mm -hmm. um, but then to occupy their time, they like to grab people's ankles and um, have a full sensory experience for Jaws. But at the end of the day, League says he just wants to make dinner in a movie something worthy of your time and money. Is this a reaction to the idea that it's just not enough? to have movies anymore? I don't think that it's not enough. Uh, you know, somebody asked me the other day, like, what do you envision like the cinema of the future to be? Yeah. And my answer was, I envision it to be 
exactly as the cinema of the 40s and the cinema of today. To me, the best experience is still lights go down and you're completely lost in the story. You know, that should never change. 